someone has said, trouble is a grave with the ends cut out. There are upwards of eight times in the King James Version New Testament where this term, be of good cheer, is used. In each instance, there is an abiding promise of hope, strength, and courage. Jesus says in John 16, 3, These things I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Right. Trinitarians and friends, there it is. It's in the verse, the good cheer starts, resides, and remains in him. According to one theologian man, man needs a divine force behind and within him to encounter the tremendous odds arrayed against him the mysteries of life, the temptation of the devil, infirmity of the flesh, and antagonism of the world. We needn't smile or just fake it until we make it. I'm totally convinced that his word is lit. Before we run out of time, be of good cheer in 2001 number, journeying through the remarkable 